We're going to hear from some of California's brightest stars, as well as someone fairly new to politics who's going to give us a few words of advice for the California Republican Party. I think we have a great opportunity ahead of us. The record of the Democrat Party in this state, pure and simple, is the highest unemployment of any major state and the highest taxes. That's not a good record. Today we're going to hear from some of our bright stars about how we can go forward. But to start us off, we're going to have an invocation. Please stay seated for the invocation. And I want to bring up a good friend of mine and a good friend of us all, the head of the, the most important woman in California, as I see it, the head of the California Federation of Republican Women in Carolina. Three things I have learned 
about six, the last six years serving as a member of the Board of Equalization. The unions never get enough money to satisfy their spending addiction. The union Democrats are like gambling addicts. They physically cannot stop. They have driven great cities to bankruptcy like Stockton and San Bernardino. According to Moody's, another 30 cities in California will be soon pushed off the financial cliff. California probably will have to experience more pain before it is willing to change. Finally, our party must plan now to change California when Jerry Brown runs out of money and California crashes and burns. I have three suggestions. One, we have massively expanded the membership to the California Republican Party to embrace the grassroots people. Second, recruit a new generation of conservative leaders in the Asian Pacific Islanders community and among middle class Latino and African American communities. And we begin the hard work of training those leaders so we can develop 25 Scott Walters to restore California by breaking government unions.